What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is, if I can't declare myself powerless in these, why would I in this? Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So I might go out here on a little bit of a rant. I uh, just got done doing my morning walk. It's freezing out here. Not really freezing, but about 39 degrees here in Wisconsin. I walked for probably about an hour out along the lakeshore path, and I was thinking about lots of things going on in my mind. Uh, but I had an idea for a, a video, for a blog, for this podcast a few days ago. It goes like this. When I wake up in the morning and I go get a coffee, which I know I used to drink too much of, I never declared my life to be powerless and unmanageable over the fact that I was putting 70 ounces of coffee into my body a day. When I sit down to eat a plate of food and I have two helpings, when I probably should have one, I don't consider myself to be powerless or my life unmanageable over the food. When I walk into a business meeting with my peers, with the people that work with me, I don't sit down and tell them, hey, guys, these the amount of calls, the people we need to help, the workload. It's too much for me. I'm powerless and unimaginable over it. They would fucking leap. They would literally get up and get out of there because that's the best thing that they should do. When my kid's screaming and throwing a temper tantrum, we got three kids, and when they're arguing and doing stuff, I don't sit there and say, hey, babe, our life is powerless. These kids are unmanageable. I need to just pray about it. No, I fucking do something about it. I make a choice. We'll go back to the coffee. I did not want to drink coffee anymore. So I'm on about a four day, I think. Today's day four of weeding it down, having about 20 ounces a day, which is one cup from the gas station before my workout, which I use for fuel to get through it. And the rest of the day, that's at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever time I get in there. But the rest of the day, I'm on decaf or water or whatever. Decaf doesn't make a lot of sense right now. I'm just kind of stupid. What I was able to do was make a decision, a thoughtful decision, be self-aware of the feelings, the anxiety, what it was producing inside of my mind. The internal like lack of fulfillment that I was getting because I was caught in a state of paralysis. Now, you can just apply this to beer or booze or pot or work or anything that you fucking want. So here's the thing. It's a cop-out. You're selling yourself on telling yourself that you're powerless. My parents taught me a lot of things. Maybe their teachings weren't the most you know, exciting. <laughs> not exciting is not the right word. They weren't the most like uh, standard, politically correct worldviews of fucking parenting. Some of the shit was tough love. But never inside of my life they tell me that I'm powerless over anything. So if I don't declare my life to be powerless and unmanageable over every other fucking action that I take in the day, why the fuck would I do it over alcohol? Why would I say that I have a disease? Now, don't get it twisted. I understand that if you drink too much, you can have diseases that come from it. And I also understand that at some point, kids make decisions to pick up the booze and it becomes fun, becomes part of the social norm, or you drink to sedate, you drink to hide all the wrong reasons. But here's the thing, regardless of the reason, as long as you're breathing, as long as you're up, as long as you have a chance, you can change that thought process. You can change your mind. Now, whether that's gaining control, learning to have one, two, three, drink periodically, or maybe it's not drink at all. I don't really give a shit. What I care about, the message for us, is you can understand that you are powerful. You can do anything that you want to put your mind to. You want to start that business, you want to create the the business bigger than it is, but you're blocking it because of drinking. Eliminate the drinking and fucking move on. Build. You want to get abs at 40? Eliminate the drinking. Fix the plate. Build yourself. You want to get smarter. For myself, this is a big one, right? I want to be an elite communicator. I want to learn how to slow down my face, my 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 speaking. I want to be able to take the message out there. You know I'm going to do it? I'm not going to just fucking do more of the same. I'm going to make a decision, make a conscious choice. I'm going to fucking better myself. Now, the problem is sometimes... That choice doesn't appear to be very clear. It doesn't appear to just show up when you want it to. Like in your mind, in the back of your head, you're like, I really just want to get this under control. I wish I can. You're, way, you're laying in bed. You're hoping. You're waiting. You maybe won't listen to this podcast. You're scrolling through. You're checking out, uh, you know, where's the local AAs on Google. You're doing all these different things. But at the end of the day, what you're really doing is nothing. You're getting caught in no man's land. It sounds good to think about it. I literally get text messages from guys all the time. They're like, man, I just I don't know if I'm ready to quit. I'm my messenger. I shouldn't say text messenger. I'm my Facebook messenger. I love the story. I love what you're about. I love what you say. I kind of believe with you. But, dude, I just don't know if I'm ready. What the fuck are you waiting for? And I'm not here to tell you that you have to change your life radically. I'm not even here to tell you that you can never drink again. 
but you know that there's an incongruency inside of you. And if that's the fucking case, fix it. The mind is a powerful thing. It's conditioned to put us into a state of pain, fear, like fight or flight type mentality. We are literally fucking always on the defense. Switching to the offense and understanding that you are powerful, that you can do something is going to take time. It's going to take skill. It's going to take work. It's going to take energy. It's going to take commitment. But I want you to take a look at your life real quick. I don't care if you're a blue collar worker, if you own a business, you didn't get to where you're at today. You didn't advance through high school. You didn't fucking make it to be an all-star baseball player. Now you're drinking. You didn't build a massive corporate company or maybe the CEO. You didn't do it without advancing, without making a decision to put some work in. So if you're not going to declare your life to be powerless over any of these other situations that you go through on a daily basis, how the fuck would you declare your life to be powerless over alcohol? And for those of you guys out there who are going to catch this message and say that's the only way, I appreciate you and I hope that it works for you. Like you have to come back. It's not about how it gets done. It's just about that it gets done. And that's really what we want. However, if you want to get it done our way, if the way that I talk resonates with you, if you've listened to this point, if you're a fan or a a fucking, you just like whatever I'm about, I want to urge you to fill out an application. Actually, watch this video. I'm a comeback.com forward slash watch. I'm a comeback.com forward slash watch. On the other side of that video, there will be a spot where you can actually uh, fill out an application and we can take the next steps to see if you want to work with us, to see if we're a fit. And if that's you, I want to urge you to do it. If it's not, We'll be here when you're ready. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you soon.